Apache High School. The Apache competes in 2A Region 6. Their region opponents are Cleveland, Gaston, Ranburn, West End, Woodland, and Westbrook Christian. Representing Ohatchee High School today are head football coach Scott Martin, and his players are senior running back linebacker Riker Lambright and senior running back linebacker Dominique Thomas. Coach Martin, we'll start with your opening comments. First of all, I'd like to thank the Calhoun County Quarterback Club and Aniston Country Club for letting us come out and share this venue and also being a part of this because this really is special uh, to be able to come out and highlight your team and all the teams in Calhoun County and it's such a, a great honor to be part of that. Uh, it's been a good off season. Obviously we had a great year last year. We were 11 and one, uh, lost a tough game in the quarterfinals to a, a, a eventual state champion Fife. Um, you know, felt like that was a hard fought battle. It was a, a great game and we had our opportunities and I felt like the two best teams in AA were playing on that night. Uh, it kind of all culminated to that. Uh, it's been a great off season. You know, we lost a lot of really good players. Um, when you turn around and look and see that we lost a quarterback that was responsible for a lot of our touchdowns and he played defensive back for us and Grayson Allward, it's left a hole for us to fill. Uh, we've got three young men that are vying for that position. We've got senior Cam Foshi, we've got junior Connor Baswell, and we've got sophomore Eli Ennis. And all three of those guys are going to get a real hard look in the fall early and probably all get to play a little bit in the jamboree and as we start narrowing it down to who's going to be our sole starter for week one. Uh, but these guys next to me, I don't have to look very far. I'm glad to have both of them back. Uh, Riker was a uh, junior for us last year, played some wing back for us, where this year he'll start at wing back for us. Last year he had 67 tackles, nine and a half tackles for loss, and had two and a half sacks, and uh, was a great outside linebacker for us, and we expect him to pick up right there. Uh, I'm gonna say arguably, because I'm sure the guy on my right probably would argue with me, but uh, Riker is quote unquote the fastest guy on the team, so I'm sure Dominique will fuss about that, but uh, that's his distinction but he's also a great leader. He's a real quiet leader. He's not a guy that you see a lot of rah-rah out of, but he just gets the job done and he's been a pleasure to coach. And to my right, Dominique Thomas, probably doesn't need as much of an introduction. All-state running back last year. The last two years, he's rushed for over 2,800 yards and scored 39 touchdowns rushing and caught five touchdowns passing. And Dominique's done a super job. He went from 6.5 average uh, per carry two years ago, last year it was a 9.2 average. He rushed for a little under 1,600 yards, but realized he did not play in the second half except in about three regular season games. Uh, one thing that we do is, you know, I like to keep these guys healthy and fresh and not jeopardize them when we don't have to. So these two guys have made great impacts on our program and have done a super job through their whole career, and they both played a lot for us. We've got a had a great off-season program. Uh, our spring was a different type of spring without the spring jamboree for us. Our spring was more of a shorts and t-shirts spring. We got a lot of work done in that week that we were out there, but we didn't do a lot of physical work and, and that's okay. Uh, one of our mantras is to be the most physical football team on the field. And I don't think that ever hurts when you're not beating each other up, you know? And I try to refrain from that a lot during the week and during the preseason because I want our guys to be healthy. Our job from week to week is to get our guys to the next game as healthy as we can be. And that's one of the great things that we've been able to do and I'm proud of that, is that injuries haven't bitten us too bad over the last few years. And a lot of that's because of not only do we not beat them to death every day, but we also do a great job with Coach Finley and those guys in the weight room and our strength and conditioning program, I think, second to none. And it's shown through the five years that I've been there getting ready to start our sixth year. Joe, we will start with you. Uh, to Dominique and Riker, Coach talked about how he felt like you guys in Fife were the two best in 2A last year, came close. Uh, how, how much of that is a motivating factor to this coming into this season? It's very motivating because, you know, we let that game slip through our hands. So we we'll get that one. His lock screen is five holding up the championship trophy. That's home. Dom Dominique's lock screen. Yeah. Yeah. It's not Coach's lock screen. <laughs> <laughs> he was, Remember, I'm that happy guy every day. I wouldn't <laughs> want to look at that every day. <laughs> 
Why would you do that? I mean, I know yeah. why, but you tell us why. Um, I'm still mad about that, so I want a reminder every day why I should work hard. That's why it's like that. Last year, you, you printed off that thing for the the, all the themes for the team is that is that lock screen like your your motivational yes. thing this year? Yes. And I printed off this year. I printed off a winner's period. Like I got that from Alabama, the Nick Saban thing, where it has all the quotes and the teams that we play. Like each week has a different quote. Is that secret stuff, or is there one quote on air that's? Pointed out for somebody specific. No, it's just different things every week. So there's no, you know, like some guys would be smart. I'm going to really take a dig at this team, and this is what this quote really means. There isn't none of that. It's just wherever they fell, right? Okay. Yes, um, Coach, your five years there, you've had the Grayson Hall Award and you things at quarterback developing both outstanding quarterbacks. You mentioned three names. What are the characteristics that you look for to run your particular offense to a little bit of a unique offense? Well, I think it's no secret that offensively, the first thing you have to do to be able to play quarterback for us would be tough. I mean, I would say that neither one of the last two guys we've had have been the most proficient passers. They've been efficient passers. And the fact that, you know, it's usually for a big play, I think we averaged over 20 yards of reception you know, all of those guys combined, if you go back and look at their history. So, and a lot of that tends to, to, to fit to what we do offensively. Um, I think the number one thing is gonna be that toughness of that individual, being able to execute our offense, being able to bring something to the table um, as a leader on the field, but also it's really a hybrid running back. So it's gotta be a guy that's gotta be able to run the football a little bit and make teams respect them and also you know, figure into the game plan. Jim, you got a question? Yeah, Coach. Uh, we've all been sitting here talking about, you know, we haven't even played a game yet, and everybody's talking about a five rematch. Uh, That's I, why that lock screen's not on my phone. I've got, <laughs> I've got to worry about a Piedmont Jamboree in about yeah. three weeks. So my, uh, quest, my question is, how do you temper that with the team and the community and the expectations when that's all we're talking about already. Well, I think, first of all, it, it, it's great that the expectations are that high. You wouldn't want to be at a place where the expectations weren't that high. Probably when I got there, they weren't out of anybody. I remember, like I've said before, in the quarterback club meeting is, you know, somebody standing up and saying, why did you take that job? You know, that's the worst job in the state of Alabama. Well, arguably it's not anymore. And a lot of it is the young men that have sat beside us. The great thing about these two guys and the other ones is that, you know, Dominique and, and Riker fit into that first class that I had when I first got there. These are the only two, you know, this class right here is the first class that doesn't know anybody else as the head football coach except me. I've been their head football coach since they were seventh graders. Um, the expectations as far as how far you're going to go, you know, as a coach, we temperament. It's a week-to-week-to-week-to-week -to -week -to -week -to -week basis. And these young men will tell you, regardless of whether we're playing Fife in the quarterfinals or we're playing somebody on our schedule that hadn't won one or two games, each week is treated the same because each week is just is equally important. We know that when we step on the football field, we're going to get the best effort out of whoever we play every time. Kind of like you say with Alabama and some of those schools is that you end up playing – uh, schools are going to give you your best effort. They might not have played as good all year, but by gosh, they're going to come out and give us an effort. Now, whether that's for a quarter or whether that's for a half or whether that's four quarters, we'll find out. But most of the time, it goes back into our thought of being the most physical team out there. You know, a lot of times we've been able to beat people down into submission by the end of the game. So, you know, we're not getting their best effort at the end. Uh, as far as the community, uh, going back to that, uh, how do I temper these guys? Well, we don't ever talk about that. We don't ever talk about where we're going. I mean, we talk about each game and what each game means. And I think Dominique and them have the right idea. You know, whatever theme they've picked for that week, it gets them to focus on that week. And I always tell these guys, win or lose, that's just one game. 
You know, if you win a game, well, that didn't mean you won 10 or it didn't mean you won 11. If you lose a game, that didn't mean you lost three, four, five, six games. It means you lost one. So we, we do a great job of getting it from week to week. Joe? Uh, to Dominique and Riker, can you speak to that expectation level, what it is at Ohatchee now, compared to what you remember back in the seventh grade? It's totally different than it is when we first started. Practice is more intense now. You know, we just focus more in practice. We work out a lot harder, too. Yeah. I hope those guys are just joking around. Like, they, don't they don't take it too serious. I think leadership has a lot to do with that. I think that we've developed leaders through these six years. Uh, when you first go in and, and establish a program and, and you get the program, you're basically having to re-coach the people that have already been coached by other people. And so habits are formed. And sometimes it's hard to break those habits. And so that's why I'm, why I'm super excited about this football team is I finally got a team, six years worth, that the only habits they know are the habits that we've ingrained in them in the last six years. And I think that's gonna make a difference. But also, if there's any flaws, it also you know it gives us what we need to work on because obviously any flaws that they have you know, are coming from our program. Joe? He's obviously shown out for two years now, but, but he's one of the biggest names coming back in the county at his position this year. There's not a lot of other, a lot of them graduated last year. It, People who may be paying attention to him for the first time, what do you what do you think they're gonna, what do you want them to see about him? Well, I mean, he, he's a he's a very physical player. He's a very focused player. Uh, his effort is second to none. Uh, he, he's a he's a tough hand. He's a tough load. He, he, I mean, he's a handful. And uh, I think the thing that's great, you know, this coming year is I think we're going to be balanced. You know, he's a, he's the tailback. This one right here is the wingback. I think both of them will do a great job. I think you'll see a lot of great things out of Riker because you can't overplay Dominique because if you do, then Riker's going to be the guy that's going to hurt you or whoever the quarterback is is going to be the guy that's going to hurt you. So I think you're going to see a, a balance that's going to be brought about because of people trying to overplay him. But I also think that we're going to have the best offensive line that we've had in quite a few years. You know, last year we went 11-1, but from the offensive and defensive line standpoint, we were rather thin. And, you know, we had to patchwork some things together. And if we lost one guy, we were scrambling around. We will be young, but we'll be deep across the fronts. And so I think we've got a chance to, to really be impressive on that side. Jim? Jim. Yeah, Coach, one of the uh, most physical games we, we think we saw last year was your game at home with, with Randburn. You guys have to go down there this year. And, in all likelihood, that might be for the region championship. Talk about them a little bit and about that game last year. Well, it was obviously it was a tough football game. We won 28 to nothing, but the, you know, the score at halftime was 14 to nothing. It was a hard-fought football game. Uh, we had a couple of breaks and, and were able to take advantage of it. Uh, it was a hostile territory for those guys, and you know, our crowd played into the game. It, it was it was a playoff type atmosphere. It was very physical on both sides of the, of the football. And, you know, they get a chance to, to flip that script this year. We've got a very tough place to go and play at. None of these young men have ever played at Ramburn in a varsity football game or JV football game for that matter. So, again, it's going to be a great challenge for our football team. And they've got a lot of good players coming back. You know, they've got a really good running back coming back. They've got a all-state linebacker or region MVP defensive player coming back. So, it, it, and Gunnar Hollis. So, it's, it's going to be a heck of a test when we go down there. Anybody else got any questions? Coach Martin, thank you guys for your time so much. We enjoyed having you all here today. We appreciate it.